Spanky's Quest? What the fuck? That's what this game is called, and you play as a monkey named Spanky. So instead of spanking the monkey, you are Spanky the Monkey. So this game I've never played before. It was developed and published by Natsumi and released on the Super Nintendo in 1991. It was also released on the Game Boy, but I'm only going to cover the Super Nintendo version. Basically, you are trapped in a tower by an evil bitch-ass witch named Morticia. You must defeat Morticia and find your way out of the tower. Along the way, you will have to deal with enemies that are shaped like fruit. That's right, fruit is the enemy. Apple, pineapple, watermelon, peaches, grapes grapes, and so on. As you can see, you attack by throwing small purple bubbles. You can bounce the bubbles on your head, and every time that happens, the bubbles will grow and change color. The bubbles will be popped, and depending on the color, different types of sports balls will fly out and destroy the enemies. A purple bubble releases a baseball. The largest, being the orange, will release several basketballs. If an enemy is touched by a bubble, he is just stunned for a few seconds. So is this technically a sports game? I mean, come on, who just throws sports balls in here out of nowhere? Sports! There are a total of five worlds with ten levels each. The final will be a boss battle. After you defeat all five bosses, you will fight the witch Morticia. You will collect keys, and there are certain amounts that will unlock a door. The graphics for Spanky's Quest, very nice, great sprites. Spanky is a funny looking monkey. The fruit enemies are pretty funny looking and the levels are nice. Didn't run into any slowdowns. The game is very colorful, bright colors, nice backgrounds and everything. Very well done. The music, I like it, ranging from the level music and of course the title screen as well. Is this the best 16-bit music I've ever heard? No. Is it horrid? Far from it. Definitely fits the style of gameplay as well, which is nice. The sound effects from jumping, collecting keys, the enemies, the bubbles and so on are fine. Nothing mind-blowing though. The control Controls, pretty simple to understand. Moving around is easy. Jumping and throwing the bubbles are easy, as well as controlling Spanky. They are quite responsive, even when you're trying to balance the bubble so you can get a big orange one. At the end of the day, the controls are really nothing to complain about. Spanky's Quest is a fun game. It has that combination of platformer and puzzle. Some levels are easy, some are tough. The boss battles can be a real bitch, but I like the challenge. The graphics are nice, the music and sound effects are enjoyable, and the controls respond quite well and are easy to understand. I do wish there was a few less levels in each area. Five or six would have been fine, right? rather than 10. Yes, I said a few less levels, but for what the game is, I really like it, and for this being the first time sitting down and playing it, definitely something I can come back to from time to time. Spanky's Quest is 52% rare, prices online range from $22.46, $25, $185 for a complete in box, $24.99, $70 for a complete in box, $50 for a card only, $19.99, $16.49 for a card only with no label, so the prices are kind of all over. Now, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you can get this game on there to download as well. When it comes to the Game Boy version, it's similar but does have some differences. Maybe at a later time I will check that version out and do a review separate. Other than the Game Boy release, there was no sequels, and really you can't count the Game Boy release as a sequel, it's just another version of the game. So basically Spanky's Quest is just a one and done game. And that's kind of a damn shame, but at the same time there are quite a few different puzzle games like this out there. I mean, I would say that this game kind of reminds me of Bubble Bobble in a way. Well that is it for this review of Spanky's Quest on the Super Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.